Hello everyone, guys, gals, and binary pals. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ruben, and today I'll be talking to you about the Hobonichi weeks that I have finally chosen for my 2023 lineup, which you can see right here. This is the Hobonichi Techo English Edition. It's the mother uh, design, mother, my friends, with a January start, as you can see here. And so this video is going to be short and sweet. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet at least. And I'm just going to show it to you and tell you what kinds of things I do in order to set this planner up and prepare it for the new year. So if you'd like to see that, just keep on watching. So these two are the planners that I used on previous years. This is my 2021 weeks with the Sean Tan design. And this is my 2022 planner, which is the Forest Tiger with the Yuka Hiragi cover on cover. So for this year, I'm going to be using this one, as I was saying. This is the Mother, My Friends design, and it comes with a couple of things that you can see right now. So the first thing I want to comment on is the color. It's the color because this happens every year. I feel like it happens with every single Hobonichi planner that when you look at them in pictures versus on real, in real life, they just look so different. The shades look slightly different. They don't look as vibrant on their website, but then when you receive them, they look much more vibrant or they look completely like a different undertone. So in this case, I think the same thing is happening right now. Because when you look at it, it does have this detail, this little detail here, the fabric cover with the characters and the letters are embossed in this white. But when I look at it through my phone, I'm recording with my phone, the, red, the shade of red looks kind of orangey, kind of like brick red to me, or like vermilion red. But when I look at it, you know, with my, my eyes, when I look at it directly in real life, to me it looks more like a blue red. Um, I don't know if it's because I work, you know, some a part of my job has to do with design. I don't know if it's because of that or because I've watched too much beauty YouTube, but... It just looks different to me. The red just looks different. Now, the first thing I want to say is why I bought this one instead of the one piece design. If you watch my reaction to the lineup and my haul, I think I also said it there. Um, I said that I was going to buy the one piece design. I was quite adamant. At least I seemed quite adamant that I was going to buy the one piece design. But what happened was that by the time I realized and by the time I actually remembered that I hadn't bought my weeks, um, even though I had prepared a cart and all things like this, um, it was sold out. <laughs> so I just had to check on a different website. I bought this one from Mi Tienda de Arte. And I'm just going to be using this planner instead of the One Piece. It still looks good. I still like it. I still find it cute. And it's not green. Because if you watch my video, you might remember that I said that I wouldn't buy any green planners. At least not this year. So here it is. Now... I'm just going to show it to you so you see some of the details because I haven't seen any specific reviews of this one. So this is your regular weeks. It's a regular weeks, so 75 notes pages, January start. So let me just give you a bit of a close-up with the characters. Here they are. And this is the front. This is embossed in white. I'm not too concerned, you know, about the characters the numbers, you know, sort of being on top of a character and stuff like that. I don't care about that kind of thing. I know that some people are a little bit more uh, persnickety with um, the way the motive or the pattern is laid out. Because as you know, this is a piece of fabric and they kind of cut it and they do the binding and all that. So I don't know, but I'm, I'm not that concerned about that. Now, this one does come with, of course, these pieces of plastic which I guess are there so that the the cover doesn't get deformed in transit. But it also comes with a protractor. Let me show it to you. Will I use it? I don't think so. Maybe to do some lines and stuff like that. But, you know, it's just a cute little freebie. And this is the usual guide, which I showed you in the haul. And it's quite, it's quite a short one. So I'm going to show it to you this time as well. There it is, just with the different designs and different planners. And a couple of examples of how to use these planners. And then we have the pocket. And so the first thing I'm going to do to prepare my planner for the new year is stick this pocket. 
I don't recommend putting it here because if you use a cover on cover, it's just going to be covered altogether. Um, fun fact, here is the serial number. And so I usually put it here. Okay, I usually put it here, here. And I'll show you why. There it is. Here's my pocket. Now this planner is quite naked like this, so it needs a cover. At least I always use the covers. I am aware that Hobonichi doesn't recommend using covers on specific, I mean cover on covers, on specific planners with specific covers. How many times can I say cover? Uh, but I just like to keep them protected, so that's why. So this is the planner, and in this box I have all my Hobonichi stuff. Um, I, I got this box when I ordered back in 2020, and I just kept it. I kept it because it arrived in perfect condition, so I usually keep all my Hobonichi stuff around here. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of things that I'll be using, and let me just get my cover from here. I'm also gonna grab a pencil board. This is this is an A6 pencil board. It's not the one that I need right now. So now let's put this cover on cover on my planner. Mm -hmm. And here it is with the cover on cover. It does have this flap for you to put a pen through. It's just, it has, does have this, it's like a loop, like a pen loop. And as you can see, there is a pocket here already. So it would have been pointless for me to put my, that kind of uh, stick on kind of pocket on here because it would have made no sense. So now it's here. And this is a bookmark that I never use. It's supposed to be like a bookmark. I never really use it. I don't know about you. Let me know in the comments. Now I'm going to show you two things, two things that I do in my Hobonichi weeks to kind of prepare them for the year. And I'm going to show you with my other Hobonichi weeks. After putting the cover on cover, the first thing I do is put a Pokemon card in this part. I don't know why I do it, but I've just gotten used to it. I've <laughs> been doing it for a few years now, and I just think it's a cute detail to add a little something. So as you can see in this one, I have this Pokemon, which is Curlia. And her moves are Paz Mental and Disparo Magico. And Paz Mental in English, I think it's Calm Mind. And I just thought it was a vibe and a mood, you know. <laughs> I thought um, it was my mood for the year. Just a calm mind, peace of mind, <laughs> and so on and so forth. So that's one of the first things that I do. And let's just do it right now with some Pokemon cards. So I recently bought these two packs. First pack... This one's cute. And a Glaceon. Hmm. I think I'm gonna put this one. This one, okay, shiny, loud, holographic. I have no idea about rarities and stuff because I, I don't play this game anymore, but I like the cards and I like the design. So she's gonna go She's gonna go here, and you know, 2023, hopefully, will be loud and colorful and happy and cheerful. Okay, so the first thing is gonna be that, then the second thing is gonna be for me to choose a notepad and put it here. Well, is the notepad here? No, it isn't. But uh, I normally put a notepad in here in order to track my finances and stuff, and stuff like that. It's not in this one because this is the 2021 planner and I took it out, but you can see the 2022 and there's one right here, which I put in this pocket. Since this is a mother planner, I'm going to use one of the mother notepads. Um, which one should I use? Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with, I mean, I could just change them whenever, but um, I think I'm gonna go with the pink, with this, okay, I'm gonna go with this one. So I just put it here. I just put it here, and there it is. I may have put the pocket a little bit too far in. Okay, I'm not too concerned because I usually take this one out all the time, but I like to keep it there. And then with my pencil case, 
this is a what this is how it looks because I'm gonna be I'm gonna reuse it because there was no reason for me to buy a new one so this is what the Hobonichi weeks looks like and there's my Hobonichi weeks ready for 2023 I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope the new year brings you lots of good things because we need them at this point in the current climate. Um, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.